Hello everybody, I'm Games522 and welcome back to more Cave Story, or Curly Story, I guess we'll call it. Um, in the last video, we were just running through things. Again, the game doesn't really change much. Need to start leveling up the fireball though. There we go. Come up here and get the life tank. Don't know why I used my missile there. I can't get past the fire. You know, I think this is funny how if you sleep in the bed, you get lipstick from Chaco, so. It's like, oh hey, girl on girl, I guess. I'm not judging, you know. Yeah, I don't know why I'm going up there. I just need to go up here. Now, I am going to probably try the skip. That way you guys can see... You guys can kind of see how this goes. See, once you get the jellyfish juice, you're supposed to use it in the, uh, in the fireplace. But there's a thing you can do. Let's see if I can get it. Pause. Okay. See, what you do is that you have to. Let's see, let's see, let's see if that did it. Dang it. I'm not good at it. Or I don't even know if you can do that skip. No, I think you can. Let me sleep in the bed and save. I will get this, but basically what you do... Okay, maybe that did it. weird. Maybe I can't do it on this version. Yeah, I don't think I can do it. Oh well. I tried. I'm just not good enough. Now my polar star is a bit compromised. It's not necessarily a good thing. I like how I said that so much later than I was actually needed to. Hmm. 
There's no keyhole, it seems to be rusted. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get that missile expansion over here. In the speed run, this is where you would normally pick up the missiles. But you do have to check the door, otherwise you won't be able to make the bomb from this guy when you talk to him. Yeah, <laughs> I just said no. Now Balrog here. There is a way to super kill him really fast. And that basically involves just standing on top of him. And then just spamming the fireball since the fireball goes downwards. But like, just as he lands, you want to jump. That way you don't get hit by the balls that he just spawns all around him. You are a nice lady. It's nice that they even make the text changes to re to like to like reference uh I don't know. It's just cra it's just nice. Would you blow open a rusty door for me? There's a guy stuck inside. You're definitely a nice lady. Let me go ahead and save. We need to get that jellyfish juice. Oh yeah, I forgot. I also needed to get the charcoal. I should have done that first. What was I thinking? Also, we're going to get the bub line later. Because it's actually faster to get it later instead of making another trip backwards. I don't know why I do this to myself sometimes. I think the bushlands is probably the longest area in the game, in my opinion. At least it feels like it. Though, I mean, personally, I feel like the bushlands is my least favorite area. I mean, it's got good music, but it feels like it drags on a bit too long. I don't know if I'm the only one who feels like this. All right, now we just need one more jellyfish juice, and then we'll grab the third one on our way back. But yeah, basically, uh, if you manage to do that skip to get past having to use it for the fireplace, then you already have it when you need to make the bomb. So that's basically how that goes. Dropping a lot of big hearts. I guess that didn't catch me. We're gonna make a bomb. But 
But yeah, if you like get the rusted key, try to open the door, and then go turn on the power and talk to the robot, and then you come back to the crevice, then like you don't have to talk to the crevice again. Got the missile expansion and killed that enraged Mamiga. Don't kill him. Oof. Wonder if I even made that jump correctly. Now, I'm not good at the fast kill for Balfrog, because it mainly involves just you being really good with uh, the fireball. So I'll probably just fight him as normal with the missile launcher. Aren't you that girl from the surface? She may even be stronger than you. I will say though, the remastered version of uh, this song, Eyes of Flame, is pretty dope. There we go. Which, if I recall, I think he has a certain damage limit he has to take before he closes his mouth again. So that's another thing you gotta keep in mind. I don't really need to bother with those enemies too much since I can take the up path. Alright, so let's get that door blown up. And that's how we do it. You did well, young lady. Sue sent me to find you. Though I will say it does feel kind of... It does feel different whenever, like, the character you're playing as gives a response in this game. So many cutscenes. Alright, and that's going to be the end of this video. We're pretty much done with the bushlands, so we get to move on to the sand, the sand zone next, and we will get the machine gun. Then things are going to be a tad different. So, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Till then, see you then.